Dario, you said that AI could wipe out half of all entry-level white-collar jobs and spike unemployment to 10 to 20 percent. How soon might that happen? Well, let's, uh, 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 well, first of all, thanks for having me on the show. But uh, uh, just to back up a little bit, you know, I've been building AI for over a decade. And I think maybe the most salient feature of the technology and what is driving all of this is how fast the technology is getting better. Um, a couple of years ago, you could say that AI models were maybe as good as a smart high school student. I would say that now they're as good as a smart college student and, and, and sort of reaching past that. I really worry, particularly at the entry level, that the AI models are, 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 are you know, ver very much at the center of what, what an entry level human worker would do. Um, and so it's hard to estimate, you know, exactly what the impact would be. And, and you know, there, there's always this question of adaptation. And, and you know, these, these technology changes have happened before, but I think what is striking to me about the, the, this, this AI boom is that it's bigger and it's broader and it's moving faster than anything has before. And so compared to previous technology changes, I'm a little bit more worried about the labor impact simply because it's happening so fast that yes, people will adapt, but they, they, they may not adapt fast enough. And so there, there, you know, there, there may be an adjustment period. Okay. So let's unpack a little bit of what Dario said there. Now, first thing to note, he didn't exactly answer Anderson Cooper, Anderson's Cooper, Anderson's question. When do you think this 50% entry-level job destruction moment might happen. And, and I think that's fine. There's a lot of variation in what AI experts think is the timeline for these kinds of changes, but that let, let's leave that aside for a second and go through what he said. So he said, first, it was like a high school student. Then it was like a college student. It's moving beyond that. And it, what it can do is very squarely in the middle of what a lot of entry level jobs are comprised of. He says that we have dealt with major tech before and the disruption that comes with it, the job loss, and then it always creates a new sector and we, we adapt as humans. He says this time the technology is bigger, broader, and faster moving. So that last part is what I think is really important. I, I'm not saying, oh, humans can't adapt. 